making op art with Mr. G. All right, today is pretty exciting. We're going to be creating an optical illusion using two elements of art. We're going to be using contour and we're going to be using value. Value is one of the seven elements of art. Value deals with the lightness or darkness of a color. Since we see objects and understand objects because of how dark or light they are, value is going to be incredibly important to art. So we're going to start with a little dot in the middle of our paper. We're going to take our ruler and go out from the dot. And since we don't have a long ruler, we're going to have to move our ruler down because we're going to try to make a straight line going all the way to the top. We're kind of going from one corner to the other, and then we're going to do just the opposite. We're going to make a big X on our paper. Now you could do this freehand. I chose not to do this freehand because I want the end result to turn out pretty specific. So I'll just make another line here. And then with each of the segments, we've got four big triangles. Do you see that? So what we're going to do is we're going to put a V. In this case, we're going to put an upside down V in this triangle. So one line right here. And then we'll get another one over here. You can see that we just made an upside down V. And we're going to do that with each one of the sections. Up here, V. No, it's just a line. It's not a V yet. I'm just trying to measure in how far that should be. I'm trying to get equal amounts of tiny triangles in there if I can. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to work with our contour. Contour is how our eyes can see visually or at least make an object look 3D. In this case, we're making these large I guess you would call them frowns, really. And we're kind of going up. You don't want to do a straight line here. You want to do a curved line. So it gives the illusion that that triangle is actually a round cone shape. If we had straight lines, it would just be a triangle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to skip one of these lines and then put another one just like that skip jump and then start right there and make another curved line and then we're going to keep doing that skip this triangle and go right there so kind of playing leapfrog with those and then we're going to do the same with all these you can move your paper it makes it so much easier feel free to move your paper while you're doing that now we're going to take the ones triangles that are in between and we're going to do just the exact same thing. We're going to make these frowns and then we're going to connect them on all sides, on both sides, from the left to the right. If you're left handed, you could do it the opposite way. Whichever way works best for you, this is art. And so we're not writing. Connect all those up and then I'll meet you at the end of this. That's kind of satisfying to watch. And already we've created something very cool. It already looks like kind of an optical illusion. But what we're going to do is we're just going to pick any color that you want in your colored pencils or your crayons, whichever way. And then we're going to color every other. We're going to use one, focus on one of those triangle sections first. And we're going to do every other little segment. That's all I can call those, those pieces right there. But this is important. We're going to leave the very middle of that, we're going to leave it white. And what that's going to do is it's going to give the illusion that there's light coming from the top. We're creating an optical illusion. And of course, we do this with art when we're working with realistic art all the time. We create illusions to create a three-dimensional effect. They may not be optical illusions, but they are illusions just the same. So you can see how I left that white in the middle there. And we're going to go back there with value. This is a way of using value. Because we're going from light to dark. And I'm going to add a little bit of shadow and a darker value to each one of those in just a moment. So I'm going to go to the edge of the triangle. And I'm just going to make that a little bit darker. And we're going to create the illusion of a shadow there.
So just on the corners, don't go all the way up, go about halfway. And you can already see that that's creating the illusion of a shadow. And it's making it look like it's sticking out a little bit more. So now we're going to go the opposite segment of the color. So if the color is not going to go side by side, it's going to actually skip over. So we're going to take the segment that's above the first blue or whatever color it is that you choose. And we're going to leave that light space in the middle again, and then we're going to give shade to it. <coughs> I did this with these sections just to remind me that these are the ones that you're going to color so I didn't make any mistakes. So we're going to choose whatever colors you want to and fill the rest of them up. Of course, we're speeding up here. I'm not really going this fast. But you can see as I'm turning it around that it's already become this kind of an optical illusion. It looks like it's going inward and there's bulging for each. It almost looks like um, maybe curtains going in or something kind of cool like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my my pencil and you see how I'm turning it to the side and I'm just going really lightly on the white parts. And then of course I'm going over the colored part as well and that's automatically shading it a little bit more. But what I'm doing is I'm giving this just a little bit of a shadow within its own color. So for each one of these sections, I'm going to use the color that I used before. So this is kind of important to lay those pencils to the side of the ones that you use for your color. And then you can kind of go over them, just like I'm doing, very lightly on either side. And I'm still leaving that white in the middle. And now we're going to focus on some advanced techniques if anybody wants to do this. I've laid down some pencil, just regular old pencil, not colored pencil. And I'm just adding a little bit of dark shadow all the way along the line there and maybe up a little bit on each one of our, our segments. And then I'm using a Q-tip or you can just use a paper towel or your fingers if you would like to do this, if you choose to do this. And there we have our final product.